How's it going guys? It is DVD Tuesday. Uh, as you guys know, today was the DVD release of the Battleground pay-per-view. Battleground came on DVD today. Pick it up at Walmart for 10 bucks. I think it came out to be a total of 1076. Oh, I don't know. Well, the receipts right here. Let me just see it. Ah, it came out to be 1076. Yeah, I was right. So, if you want to buy a DVD, go pick it up at Walmart. I highly recommend it because it's cheaper there. Uh, Best Buy, I think it's like a dollar or more. I think it's like 1176 at Best Buy total. So, yeah, definitely pick it up at Walmart for plan to pick this up. So, enough of me talking. Let's get into the video. Um, Money Night Raw last night. I don't know about you guys, but I honestly wasn't that into the show. I just, I don't know. I didn't, really didn't care for most of the stuff that happened. The ending was pretty good, though. I enjoyed that. Kane coming out in the suit was pr perhaps the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. No lie. Yes, I've seen Kane in a suit before. You know, I've seen videos on YouTube of him doing the speeches and whatnot. But to see Kane come out in a suit, that's a whole different story. You know, seeing Glenn Jacobs in a suit, that's something different. But seeing Kane come out in a suit, that's, especially with his theme music and everything, that's just, that's epic. That's once in a lifetime opportunity. But yeah, and, uh, I think the history of the WWE Championship, not WWE Championship, the WWE DVD comes out in two weeks, I believe. And unfortunately for me, this is going to suck big time. Uh, the, the Kmart that actually has the DVD early as I come out is actually closing down. I don't know when, but maybe. I don't think they're going to get any shipments in for DVDs or any new things considering it's closing down, so I'd be dumb, but I don't know. Um, so I'm not sure if we get that early or not because, like I said, it's closing down, so I might not. I, I might have to wait till it comes out on DVD. Instead of getting in early, so that sucks for me. But regardless, definitely looking forward to the history of the WWE Champion. Oh, I keep saying history of the WWE Championship. That's because it is a DVD. I'm looking forward to the history of the WWE DVD coming out in two weeks, I believe. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I can't wait to review that one for you guys. But yeah, Battleground. And let's, uh, let's shut my mouth and get into the video. Alrighty. Alright, the cover here, you see you have the Viper, Randy Orton. With the WWE Championship in the background just sitting there for no reason. You have a Ryback looking pissed off at the world. Daniel Bryan looks like he's swinging at you. I don't know. And Punk saying that he's going to beat the shit out of you right there. I know a lot of people like this cover. But to me, honestly, it's... Uh, eh, I don't know. I'm not too high on this cover. I think it looks like a comic book cover, if you ask me. It looks like... You know, it doesn't look like a DVD cover at all. So to me, the cover, it's... Uh, eh. Um, that's all I'm going to say about it. It's eh. Battleground 2013. Go to the side. I picture the Big Show right there. Why? Well, you ruined the main event. That's why. Uh, WWE Battleground 2013. You open it up. Just the disc right there. Nothing, you know, nothing at all besides the disc. Let's close it. You jump to the back here. You got a whole. <sighs> no match listing. Stupid, stupid, stupid. This isn't. A freaking documentary DVD. This is not... They're not trying to get you to buy the freaking DVD. Well, they're trying to get you to buy the DVD, but... I don't know. Reading the back... It's... I don't even want to bother jumping into why I hate having the descriptions for the pay-per-views. It's honestly just so extremely stupid. You buy the pay-per-views for the matches. You look at the match listing and see how the card looks. You don't buy it because of... Oh, the reading looks good, so I might have to buy a DVD. No, you buy it because of the match card. That's why you buy these DVDs. It's irritating. I swear, if they do this for a hell in a cell, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be extremely pissed. Uh, for Night of Champions, that was stupid. Considering it asked... <laughs> you have the Night of Champions only gets me all the time. You have a picture of Brian holding the WWE Championship in the back. says, can Daniel Bryan dethrone Daniel or Randy Orton? And obviously, he did. But, uh, just extremely stupid. I should make a whole rant video on just that. On the back cover here, you have Big Show... Standing tall over Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton because he knocked both of them out at the end of the match. Spoiler alert. Uh, you had Daniel Bryan flying on Randy Orton on the outside. You have RVD uh, falling on Del Rio. Punk giving right back the high knee. And of course you have Cody Rhodes look like what the elbow Roman Reigns looks like. I don't know. But the back here, the description, like I said... Uh, let's read it together. Despite back-to-back -to -back WWE Championship wins, the relentless Daniel Bryan finds himself uh, dethroned at the behest of the ruthless and powerful Dictractors. Yeah, it says... Wait, Dictractors? I don't know if that's what it is. It doesn't say Dictators, but it says Dictractors, I guess. That's a word. Uh, now to prove his melee once and for all, he must continue his winning ways against Randy Orton, who has transformed into the remorseless Viper once again. 
Uh, plus, after a vicious attack by Ryback led to CM Punk being pinned by Paul Heyman, the enraged Punk looks to retaliate when he battles the, the revenous Ryback. And Rob Van Dam challenges Alberto Del Rio for the World Heavyweight title in a brutal hardcore rules match. Embroiled in controversy and devoid of a champion, the future of WWE will shape at the inaugural ba WWE Battleground. Will take shape at the inaugural WWE Battleground. Uh, Battleground pay per view overall, it was eh, it was whatever. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure. I don't to say if this was worse than Night of Champions. I think in my pay per view review, I said this was a little bit better than Night of Champions. But I don't know. After thinking about it, to be perfectly honest, uh, this is definitely a pay per view where I'd probably watch for maybe a match or two. That's about it. But besides that, I probably don't see myself watching this full event anytime soon. Of course, the main event match was the uh, vacant WWE Championship match: Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton. Uh, match is going for actually it's um actually it's interesting to see how this match turns out on here because uh everyone should know by now before the match started the whole pay per view went out feed went out you know how the arena went out I guess and they came back and you know the entrances and everything seemed cheap because they just came back from having problems so I'm actually interested to see how this plays out on the DVD but the overall match was it, it was good but it wasn't anything you know really noteworthy to be perfectly honest. Like I said, at the end, you know, Big Show comes out and knocking both of them out, and the pay-per-view went off the air like that. It was just a very dumb and lame ending to uh, a good match, which I believe was leading up to a great match. So, you know, nothing special by any means. Uh, CM Punk versus Ryback. Uh, just a boring match. I wasn't into it at all. Just Punk and Ryback. They're, if there's a stipulation to it, it's interesting. Like, their Hell in a Cell match, you know, at Hell in a Cell this year was really was pretty good for those two. And their TLC match earlier this year was really good. So, if that was a stipulation, it most likely would be good. But this match, honestly, was just boring. I wasn't into it. And Punk went with the low blow, which made it even dumber. So, whatever match there. Uh, Battleground Hardcore Rules match for the World of a Championship. Alberto Del Rio versus Rob Van Dam. Uh, Del Rio got the win with the, uh, the cross arm breaker onto a steel charge RBD. This actually opened the show up. It was actually a very fun match. I was actually really into it. It was just very, very fun to watch. A lot of uh, hardcore rule stipulation actually really played into this match, which is actually really cool. So, yeah, fun match there to open the show. And, of course, you know, the rest of the match cards, so I'm to go off memory. Uh, Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust versus Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. This was the match where if the Rhodes won, they got their jobs back. Match of the night by far. Just an extremely fun tag team match. The Road Brothers, they're a great tag team. I love, I don't love both the guys, but I love them as a team. They're very, very good and fun to watch. Uh, Rhodes Brothers ended up getting the win when Cody Rhodes hit the cross, not the cross arm breaker, the cross Rhodes on Seth Rollins gets a 1 2 3 to win the match and win their jobs match. Great moments for the Rhodes family as well. Just very fun stuff there. Uh, Intercontinental Championship match Curtis Axel has R Truth. Uh, it's actually, this match is better than I thought it was going to be, but um, yeah, it's still nothing really noteworthy. Uh, Curtis Axel won with the neck breaker or whatever. So yeah, just a whatever match. Uh, Divas Championship match, AJ Lee versus Brie Bella. Uh, pretty solid Divas match here. Um, their Hell in a Cell match was alright, but this match I felt was uh, pretty good for a Divas match. AJ Lee ended up getting the win with the uh, Black Widow. Uh, Brie tapped out, so that was good stuff there. Uh, Kofi Kingston versus Bray Wyatt. Just not really noteworthy. It's a Bray Wyatt match, so I mean, you're not going to really get that much out of it. Uh, Bray did that a whole thing where he tried to walk like the fucking exorcism or something and fell and failed at it. But uh, yeah, this match, I'm already, I already spent too much time talking about this match in general. But the ending was sick though. I think Bray, he had, I forgot what he countered. It was either the SOS or Trouble in Paradise. He countered one of the two into uh, Sister Abigail, which is actually a really sick counter. Hit it and got the 1-2-3 for the win. And then you had Santino and Great Cully versus Real Americans, which the only noteworthy thing was Cesaro giving Cully the Cesaro swing and then pinning him right after for the win so yeah and then you have uh we actually have a lot of special features on this dvd you have battleground october 6 2013 you have rob van dam contemplates his future in wwe i guess that's his announcement where he says he's gonna take time off uh randy orton reacts to battleground and josh matthews interviews daniel bryan and then you have some extras from money night raw october 7 2013 you have a six-man tag team match Cody Rhodes, Daniel Bryan, and Goldust versus The Shield. I actually heard this was actually the full match. Well, not the full match, but I think it was like 15 minutes ago on DVD, so I'm actually happy. That was a fun match. And then you have Renee Young interviews Big Show. So yeah, Battleground, out on DVD. If you like, go pick it up. If you don't want to, then don't pick it up. But yeah, that's it for my review, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.